Hello, I'm Marcus from Insomnium and Omnium Gatherum, and you're watching Tuonela. Yeah, few few little things changed since past two years, and I've been pretty much at home, which wasn't not so in common in the old days, but now there's been surprisingly much time to be at home and compose new music and no traveling. Mainly like a tree releases ready to be unleashed for the world. Like you said, Insomnium, EP, Omnium Gatherum album. Then we have this new black metal band, I Am The Night. The album, I just got the artwork today and album is gonna be released soon. And that's me. I'm always doing something. If I'm traveling, I just need to compose music or clean my house or fix my car. And I'm not the type of guy who sits in the sofa. And yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't even re first remember it's released today, like the actual EP, because it, the Argent Moon was different kind of project because it was released in kind of like four parts. Like our label Century Media wanted to do this kind of pop culture release, so release it single by single, one single and two months and second single and two months. And so the recordings are already pretty old. I think we started recording like a year ago, so it doesn't feel like a new release for me anymore. At least it's something different. I'm honestly, I'm more like an old school guy. I, I listen to vinyls and drive old <laughs> US cars, so I'm not that can kind of modern dudes, but but I think it's cool we checked out a dif different kind of format to release and I think it's gone well and necessary evil to check out some <laughs> new things in the world. <laughs> in this current situation in the world is like everyone is suffering this same situation so it's not unfair. <laughs> <laughs> Basically like the start to the pandemic for us was the most shittiest happening that as the pandemic rise or global pandemic was like arised just when we were flying from Helsinki to New York to start the tour and when we landed to JFK airport it was completely silent empty it was like from apocalyptic movie or something no people and first we thought well pandemic is cool usually you have to queue like hours in JFK <laughs> immigration line but now we just entered the country and it took like 10 minutes to walk away but then things cleared and we got to play one show in Philadelphia and it's definitely and I hope it will be the most expensive show we've ever done. <laughs> and it was with my both bands, it was Insomnium and Omnium Gatherum and I can tell you taking, getting the US visas and work permits and renting a bus and renting a backline and flying there and having your own crew with you and then cancel the whole tour after one gig. It's, that's not exactly yeah. cheap hobby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend it to anyone. And so then we had to fly back home and with a huge depth in our backs. And then we already went on the back home. We were thinking that now we have to do some whatever live stream show or and new search for the cancel tour t-shirts and to make up all the costs for companies so and that's what we did I think we were maybe the first bands that did the live streams because we yeah, did it one of the first I think yeah and it ruined well the technical <laughs> side didn't go well but after all it went really well like a lot of people bought the tickets and people kind of understood the new normal <laughs> <laughs> with all this technical hassle but it was fucked up. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've seen any memes, but I just didn't want to do anything <laughs> with that stream anymore after it was done. But but the guy who did it, a really good friend who did the production, he got even three death threats from the like angry people. <laughs> so what's wrong with people? Live stream don't work, so I I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Calm down, <laughs> go to sleep. My, my thing 
thought about ballad is like Bon Jovi always <laughs> <laughs> or Titanic, my heart will go on and maybe those songs are not exactly that kind of ballads but in insomnium scale it means something like death metal ballad so no blast beats a lot of clean singing more than we've ever had on previous releases and just a tiny bit of Nilo scrolling and a well, bit slower tempo and it's more like a mellow kind of thing. I wouldn't say it's a ballad EP, but if I have to get some comparison to some band, I would say like Opeth did Deliverance and simultaneously the Damnation, which was like a mellow album. So probably this EP is our Damnation. <laughs> the EP is cheesy <laughs> in some new scale, so we couldn't avoid it. And most people like cheese. I like cheese, blue cheese, Swiss <laughs> cheese, a lot of different kind of cheeses. Cheese is not always a bad thing, but but we try to avoid like a, not to sound like Axel Bon Jovi or Toto, just doing it. The usual insomnium cliches, there's still a lot of insomnium parts in the songs, not exactly dancing, hugging songs still. So ballad or mellow or slower songs somehow somehow this ep became to be like this we had like already a new new songs a big bunch but then we just pick up like four songs which were basically like fitting together really well and then this yes. mellow ballad was <laughs> the red line then when we worked with heart like a grave other guys than Nilo were under 40 and now when we were <laughs> working with this EP we all, all are over 40 so maybe it's better tempo for us old guys. Well no, that's a joke. The next <laughs> album we are working on it's gonna be then again like a aggressive side of Insomnium or at least the plan is and the new demos are so don't be afraid that we are getting too old. Now we are getting old and ballady, but yeah. on the next release we are getting old and angry. I was thinking the same with Iron Maiden, because I'm a huge fan of the 80s Iron Maiden. But the guys are 60 and over 60. Can you anymore expect them to do same kind of stuff than in the 80s? And they shouldn't be doing anymore because people change and people grow. And true artists do always what they want to do and not listen to masses too much. <laughs> Just hope masses will love it, but you do. <laughs> I learned to sing. That's my weird use of pandemic time. This EP is the first, I think this is the first time I'm singing on the Insomnium release. A clean vocals on the Wanderer and Reticent. So is it like in the background or is it more like a foreground? On know? the Reticent is more in the background and the Wanderer is more like a it's a duel with me and Yanni. Okay. Like another one starts and another one answers and really broke back mountain, scary stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we are two guys singing ballads to each other. But that happens. <laughs> Probably our wives are jealous. <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's been something completely new for me also to do this, some of these singing and I've been doing a lot of like demos at home, like usually like clean parts demoing, but I haven't got the self-confidence to sing at live shows. And then I started to do background vocals on Omnium Gathering gigs and somehow that was the gateway to sing on Insomnium album. And don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but it's at least something. <laughs> Is it like an open door to a solo career at some point, maybe? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to be the next. Robin Williams <laughs> soon. <laughs> Too much time at home. That's a, by the way, that's a fact. I've been playing a lot of like a composing, a lot of different kind of stuff in home. Like I don't know why my brain is melting or something. But I've been doing a lot of even pop stuff, and I don't exactly know what <laughs> I'm doing with that. Maybe I just throw the computer out of the window <laughs> and <laughs> get rid of those real cheesy songs. <laughs> Probably that's how my brain works had to do this Insomnium Ballad EP and then at the same time I was composing this 
new band black metal really raw 90s black metal <laughs> so balance and i'm here in the middle and getting crazy <laughs> yeah on, well not on this release probably on winter's gate and even on the heart like a grave album there was like pale morning sky was my black metal epic for the previous <laughs> album and i've been doing that a lot maybe it just reflects my own musical tastes because i'm not just that kind of guy i like swedish pagan metal and nothing else i like like lots of different kind of music so that's how you keep yourself entertained doing all these kind of different things yeah. even if it like maybe might seem outside that in some news the band making a lot of planning and everything is planned ahead it's not like that a lot of things just like happen like this ballady bit just like mm, but let's do this mm, okay and then already the concept for the next album was decided pretty much the similar way like mm, let's do that okay <laughs> and now we're already on the way so not that long process of thinking just doing things and what feels right and trying to be honest for your art yeah. <laughs> all these songs are pretty much written during the first lockdown in last year spring and summer so so the mood was like everyone know in the world the mood was really weird in the life lockdowns and you cannot go to pubs and bars and you cannot meet your friends so probably that did something for the music or at least it should be because it was so strong emotional period in life which nobody hadn't got before so yeah unconsciously it always yeah. leads to something we are not a jam band <laughs> at all We're, yeah it's it's nobody's we used to be with all bands i've been used to be like when you were young you were spending a lot of time at your rehearsal place just hanging out and drinking and stuff and when you're getting old you want to work at your home you have <laughs> all the guys are having home studios and we are sending files and stuff like that so it's it's going getting pretty boring <laughs> kind of not so wild anymore of composing these songs but maybe this this process was a different that way we still rehearse for the new album and this time we didn't rehearse with Ville at all because Ville didn't come to Finland and yeah. Ville didn't take part of this studio session so that was we made it with four of us like the live live lineup okay but that doesn't mean Ville is out Ville is now Ville came to Finland and he is still ah, highly okay. in the game we are like yeah. a <laughs> weird group in that way that sometimes we are four and sometimes we are five of them in the band pictures we are five yeah. but now we did the videos and we are four <laughs> and the whole ep was recorded with four of four yeah. of us so even i'm confused <laughs> i could imagine many fan fans are confused <laughs> there's many of those with the band group and with the production group but in the band group is called rufma ba <laughs> rufma ba it's a group ba <laughs> and ba is the old drunken shout of our drummer like <laughs> <laughs> at first and in the end it was labels this decision we were thinking to maybe do like a one or two like the usual way but when century media wanted to do this all songs are singles so they said like all songs need videos too and we liked the idea and and then we worked with two with two, two videos with Vesa Randa who did like the heart like a grey videos too the old drummer of sentence which is like a really good tunteiden tulk in finnish he really <laughs> catches the catches the inner spirit of insomnium which is videos finnish melancholy from the north and then we just for the next two we we felt that we have to do something else because Vesa already did like four videos so we yeah. decided to do some of it Ville Lipiainen, who's famous for walking with Night Vision, Beast in Black and Hypocrisy. And then 
he did completely different kind of videos and I think it's cool. There's more... The video which is coming out today, it's summer video. And oh. there's a girl. <laughs> Two things never been present in, in some new videos, so... <laughs> beach vibes or... <laughs> Well, there is there is a beach. <laughs> it was uh, filmed at uh, Suomenlinna, okay, cool. which is the military or castle island near Helsinki. It's a really cool place, and we were playing in the beach, <laughs> but it's a, like a rocky beach. Yeah, that's not so convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to avoid because this Finnish huge bow boats or ships, traveling ships like Viking Line, yeah. were going past and then we had to end the for filming session when the ship goes and even Nilo was floated and the drum set was floated because there was like huge waves coming from the ships but unfortunately they are not in the video they were the best parts <laughs> of the session we only have only have like a photos the directors have them all so we should maybe ask like do the best of bloopers <laughs> compilations which would be cool. Even shot one music video out of those stuff would be cool. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that would actually be really cool. I would be <laughs> interested to see that actually. So maybe for that next album. <laughs> cool idea for bonus content. Yeah. <laughs> and then all the fans are disappointed because it's not dark and melancholic <laughs> and sad. <laughs> Why those guys are laughing? <laughs> my my love child <laughs> Omnium Gatherum that I formed when I was 14 years old. It's already releasing a ninth album in November, and that was um, I mostly my this year have been going with the album, composing it, rehearsing it, and studio sessions. And it's been a really, really good session in that way. Like, that now when the new normal have <laughs> become a standard, then we just noticed that we have like a lot more time because. We knew there's not gonna be tours coming this year, and then we just rehearsed like in the old days. And I think it, you can really hear it on the OG album. It's I'm proud of it. <laughs> Even I'm Finnish and I hate everything. I can say it's a good album. We got to work with the Nino Laurenne, old producer of ours, who did the first two OG albums. So we kind of back after four, after 17 years to Nino's Sonic Boom Studios, and it was fun. And then Jens Bugren mixed the whole album, and Jens is a wizard, so... Yeah. <laughs> pretty, it became a pretty good album. And then at some part, I had some spare time, and I accidentally wrote an <laughs> album full of black metal songs, and there came I Am Tonight, <laughs> the new band featuring old Omnium Gathering bass player and my old pal Janne. We played with Janne black metal in the 98 previous time, so it's been a while. And Valtteri from Paradise Lost and Budam of the Midnight joined us. He's my good buddy. And my brother-in-law, Okko, who's singing in Horizon Ignited Band, is singing on the album. And that was a fun project too. Like I needed, needed to do this because I've always been a huge fan of 90s black metal with Emperor and Dissection and Mayhem. So this is a labor of law, love. I have felt an inner urge to do this kind of project like for years and now when there was time it's coming cl clear and <laughs> did all the 90s cliches which could be in the black metal. We asked like a logo from Christopher Speichel who's been doing Emperor logos yeah. and and Necrolord did the cover artwork, who's been painting like all these 90s classic covers. And so it's yeah. a nostalgic trip to the dark side. <laughs> Have to thank everyone to staying us with these stupid times. And we are still here, not going anywhere. And it's been weird, but I think we all had our fair share of weirdness. And looking forward to see all of you beautiful people in the gigs.